Welcome back. MPT Chairman Mara Pandian has given a strong message to iron ore exporters. He says they won't allow any export if it is not approved by the mining department. MPT has geared up to export pharmaceutical products. They also plan to export automobiles, granite and other products from not only Goa but from Belgao and Kolhapur. GCCI has also condemned illegal iron ore export from the state. We are not going to permit any ore other than authorized by the Director of Mines and Geology. We'll ensure we'll take further action that MPT will strictly go by the law in place. At any point of time, if it's brought a notice, we would not mind to detain the vessel. But this is a kind of a message which I would like to sent through all our exporters. It was like to inaugurate an office, a full-fledged office here to clear all the documents pertaining to export of uh, drugs and import of drugs, pharma companies. It might take place in less than next 15 days time. Chamber is also condemning the illegal mining trade because that is going to have a negative effect on the positive trade that is happening. Mind you, this negative trade hampers the legal operations. In Kokri, we have a saying that Sukhya Barabar always it up. And that is what we don't want to happen. That the legal people should not suffer because illegal people are entering here. Our senior reporter from Panji Rakesh Kandurkar with video journalist Devin Gaukar. General Secretary of the NCP and RTI activist Rajan Gatti has demanded CBI probe in the foreigners' land mine scam. He has demanded thorough probe of the land which is illegally sold to foreigners. He has also asked for police protection for his active members as he fears brutal attacks on them. The land scam came to the fore back in 2006. Goan land was being sold to the foreigners. RTI activist Rajan Gatte strongly opposed the selling of land to the foreigners. As per the figures, 482 cases of land selling were detected. Rajan informed that around 13 properties sold to foreigners are confiscated. He also alleged that there is a racket operating in illegal selling of land. He has now demanded CBI probe. पहिले एन्फोर्समेंट डिपार्टमेंट आणि जितले हा प्रॉपर्टी इतले मका कॉन्फिस्केट केले जाय जी जी गोयकारी जमीन हा ती गोयकारा मिळवून जाय हे माझा उद्देश आहे आणि हा तो पहिले पासून म्हणतो आणि लोकन दादा वी वांट आवर लँड बॅक तर हे जे इलिगली केले असा ते सगळ्या गोयकारा खातिर एक तरीचं एक खरोखरच एक बरो एक पाठपुरावा आमच्याकडे झालो असा आणि या पाठपुरावा खातिर हा मागता की सगळ्या गोयकारां उठून हे जे कोण आहे कल्पित जे असा जे जे कोण इलिगलिटी जे केले असा त्यांची सीबाय इन्क्वायरी घेऊन जाय आणि सीबाय इन्क्वायरी हा माझे कडून खुद हा माझे कडून ही सीबाय इन्क्वायरी मागपाची हा डिमांड करतो 13 लँड केसेस कव्हर 66026 स्क्वेअर मीटर्स ऑफ लँड द सेल डीड अमाउंट्स टू 7 क्रोर्स 10 लाख 48030 रुपीस द टोटल पेनल्टी फॉर इलीगली सेलिंग दीस लँड्स अमाउंट्स टू 77 लाख 40000 रुपीस आर रिपोर्टर लौकिक शिलकार विद वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट सुशांत पर State administration has become alert and vigilant after the recent NAFTA disaster at Murgao. They have now asked for a composite plan from Gas Authority of India Limited. The laying of this pipeline work has started. Direct supply of gas will come from Gokak to Zwari Industries. Gas Authority of India Limited demonstrated various security and safety measures adopted by them. Deputy Collector Levinson Martins Competent authority of Gale, Anthony D'Souza and other concerned officials were present for the demonstration. This pipeline is very safe. They have explained that to me in the past. But even say a tragedy does occur in the sense that there is a leakage. We know that the gas will escape in the air because it is lighter than, uh, lighter than air. As regards other safety mechanisms, we have sectionalizing valve stations and other monitoring uh, locations all along the pipeline. 
So in case of loss of pressure and uh, things like that, the technical officers will immediately detect that. State administration has demanded a composite plan from the Gale. We have now decided to have a composite plan showing the utilities, showing the infrastructure, showing the landmarks all along the route so that we can identify basically whether there is a telephone line, whether there is a water pipeline, whether there is electricity cable, whether there is any other facility which has already been laid in the past. D'Souza has also proposed that beneficiaries should raise funds for the welfare of the village through which this pipeline travels. It will cater to more than 10 industries in the state. A reporter from Vasco, Surendra Madkaikar. Goa will soon get two industrial training institutes. One will be in Ponda and one will be at Walpui. Goan industry is in need of ITI students, but sadly there are very few Goan students who prefer working in Goan industries. We have inspected their institute and uh, they have asked for some time, we have a month spent to set up 100% uh, equipment, staff. They have already taken the admission and we have given them provisional permission to start the process. So that will be 15th ITI in Goa. ITI Walper is proposed. Land has been uh, transferred by revenue department to our directorate. <coughs> It's the government idea. Assistant Director of Training Rajesh Loelekar was speaking at a press conference held on Friday at Panji. He informed us that there are various industries in Goa who need ITI students, but there are few Goan students who prefer working with Goan industries. So there are many things that we have data for 4 years ago, that industry is demand for the demand and supply is not going to be able to do it. सब रेड बुर्गी है ना तो ऑलरेडी इसको कौन एब्रोड होता है ना ले थोड़ी शिपाचेर होता है ना ले थोड़ी टूरिज्म रिलेटेड जॉब्स के तहत रिजल्ट्स ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म कोर्सेस हेल्प बाय क्राफ्ट्समैन ट्रेनिंग थ्रू आईटीआईज वर डिक्लेयर्ड ऑन फ्राइडे द रिजल्ट्स आर आल्सो अवेलेबल एट www.coaiti.org a reporter from Panji, Devdas Kamli, with video journalist Sushant Pal. News from sports after a short break. Stay tuned.